we had a video the other day um, of the American footballers doing the 40 meter dash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look at the crowd for that. Look at, yeah. you can imagine how much they want or they got for that kind of event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to set up some yeah. events, you know, for our athletes as well. Do you yeah. think maybe in the next couple of years, they should do a thing where they they have the American um, footballers go up against track stars. So yeah. they pick like, I don't know, maybe the top three. Yeah. Um, you do like a, um, a league thing. Yeah. So then at the end of that, the top three, they then go to do that. And then obviously the winner yeah. from that, it could yeah. be a team thing. So they, I don't know, it gets split between. Yeah. Um, it's a winter sport for football, boys, isn't it? So. Yeah. Good you know work. what, it's bang- Marquise Goodwin, the long jumper, yeah. he won a million dollars the other day for winning a 40-yard dash against a handful of picked Ameri- other American footballers because yeah. people just wanted to see who was the fastest. A million dollars for winning a 40-yard race. <laughs> he can retire. <laughs> yeah, like Marquise Goodwin, he's a, he's, an, he's a great athlete, incredible mm. footballer, pretty quick sprinter, but there's probably 200 sprinters on earth I'll well, beat him. Yeah. Uh, who, and some of those... Because the, the best yeah, one at the moment yeah. is when everyone goes, you know what, footballers are quicker. Then <laughs> you know, did you, did you see I'm... the video of Ronaldo trying to come yeah. out of the blocks the other day? Come on, man! Like, <laughs> I, I think I think to myself, and there's been a few times I've been down like the football clubs and this and that. Or you hear, I've been doing lots of work with the kids. I've been going into the community. I've been doing loads of school visits recently. Yeah. And my old teacher, I, I was in the school yesterday actually. He said, "Yeah, I was quite. I done it in ten point six. I said. E- he said, oh, he said, yeah. he said, he said, he said, I said, you never do it 10, 6. And he goes, oh yeah, I was, I was fitter then. Like I was only 14. I said, so you'd be the fastest 14 year old yeah, in the history of probably you were. <laughs> and if you'd done that, you'd have probably went on to do special things. Yeah. Oh, no. and, and you're just like, come on, get a grip, man. Don't do that. But ultimately I think, yeah, the, you see the, um, the footballers and things like that. Call them that out. Would, that would engage people. Call them yeah. out. I'd done one with um, Hector Bellerin. He started doing all this yeah. tweets years ago. <laughs> and I was sat down, me and James Ellington, we were about to go training in Florida. And he said, why don't you challenge him? And I thought, you know what? I will. So I got on the Twitter and I just come up with any sum. I thought, right, I'll put 30k on. And I said, I'll, put, I'll challenge him to 30k. Basically, the loser has to, I, I didn't want to win his 30k. Yeah. Yeah. We could have made it, we could have made it a much bigger fee. 30,000 to them is not a lot of money. Yeah. We could have even went for no. 100 grand, <laughs> yeah. grand whatever, whatever money, because we'd be that confident of beating them. Yeah. It would be almost impossible for them to beat, unless we yeah. pulled up with a hamstring injury. Yeah. yeah. Dog and beat them. They're great footballers, incredible at what they do. But that's like, it's not that's, the same like that, 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 that's like our relay team thinking, right, we can go and beat. Um, you know Liverpool in a football match just because we're, we're fast. <laughs> yeah, it's not that simple. So they're great at what they do. They are fast compared to a normal human being, but they're not compared to sprinters. We're, we, we're born with extreme talent, and we've worked so hard and gone through so much to be in this position. We fine tuned everything: technique, nutrition, look, uh, mental things. There's so much that you have to go through to be yeah. an elite. It's, it's a fine tuned thing, but. Imagine how many people you would get attracted if, if we said, right, we're going to take Cristiano Ronaldo, Hector Bellerin, Adama Traore, Bale, some of the fastest things, yeah, Gareth right, Bale, like and Bappe, Walcott. and we're going to, we're going to get, we're going to put them in a diamond league, or we're going to bring the Great Britain relay team and on the, on a football pitch in Wembley Arena, they're going to see who can win the race. Imagine how many Literally. people you would get. Would and imagine what be, And that'd be another way. You'd probably that fill out the stadium. You'd yeah, yeah, yeah. get more exposure. And, yeah, and then we'd get more credit for what we do because we'd beat them by 10 metres, yeah. 15 <laughs> metres maybe. <Even> more. <laughs> and then that would bring exposure to our talents and our sport. And I think things like that need to happen. Maybe, you know, th- this year at the Indoor Grand Prix, they had the report or the BBC report. They give them a lane yeah. in the qualification rounds give lane one and lane eight to two sports stars the fastest rugby player in the country the fastest football and see how quickly they come off the camera and how, how fast we leave them <laughs> from the box our sport needs more respect and I feel I'm like always somebody who tries to stand up with it so I've got Carlin sick. Isles like the, that Carlin Isles there was you something going on on Twitter and he was, he, was, he was going on the other day and it's like come on man like you're very fast but, but you're not but, but, you're, not but, but, but <laughs> you're not you're, you're not a world class but he's very very fast he's ran 665 but 665 will not qualify him to represent the country and there's again 200 sprinters on earth can run faster than that every year yeah so amazingly quick for rugby but to claim you can beat the fastest man on the planet yeah. come on get a grip it's like question of the tone when i'm stepping there 30 battles up zoom till i'm sending me a 